All right, today I have a 2008 Toyota Tundra. Uh, the transmission is the six-speed Toyota transmission called the AB60F. It's also a four-wheel drive. All right, and I'm getting code P0983, uh, shift solenoid D circuit high. So what we're gonna do uh, in a few minutes is go over to the car. I am gonna give you a shot of the scan tool, and then I already have the pan down. Uh, we're going to go underneath the, uh, underneath the car um, and identify shift solenoid D. We're going to take the solenoid out and we'll bring it over to the bench and ohm it. Um, I actually um, already know it, it is a solenoid problem because I did have to uh, get this thing checked out to get the parts that I needed on order. So I'll just kind of go through the steps there. And before we do that, I just want to talk a little bit about this transmission that's pretty cool. Um, and the, the fail-safe strategy on this transmission really minimizes the loss of the, of the operation of the transmission. And, and what I mean by that, you know, when you have a, a, a typical car, okay, say we're getting a, you know, a shift solenoid B circuit, you know, you're going to have a, a second gear or a third gear and nothing else. All right, so if you have, uh, for instance, an input speed sensor code, uh, it will take the reading from the output speed sensor and it will still shift one through four, will inhibit fifth and sixth gear and lockup. Same thing if you have an output speed sensor code, it'll take the reading from the input speed sensor and still allow the car to shift up to fourth gear. Uh, temperature sensor code will allow the car to shift up to fourth gear, have no fifth and sixth and no lockup. And when you have I think fail-safe also, if it does go into fail-safe, it may go into fail-safe maybe for uh, gear ratio codes. I'm not 100% sure of that, um, but I was just doing some research on this unit. But for instance, this here, this PO983 shift solenoid D circuit high, this cuts the power only to that solenoid. All right, so, so what that means is um, this solenoid, this shift uh, S4 solenoid is on in fifth and sixth gear, so it cut the power to the solenoids, so now we have no fifth and sixth gear. Still have gear one through four. This guy actually drove about three hours from upstate to get here, uh, to come to me. He was recommended, his brother lives um, a few towns over and, and, um, and his brother said, you know, you should take the trip down here and, and, and let him check the car and fix it for you. So, you know, he, he made the trip and I got the car here now. Um, so we're going to go, uh, I'll give you a shot of the scan tool, the code, this also has another code because I had to, I had to, um, uh, I had the main connector unplugged, uh, cause I didn't want to, uh, take a chance of damaging anything and I'll explain that in a minute. So there's also going to be, um, a 27, uh, 2716 code, which I generated, but the main code is the P0983. All right. So here. Here is the pan gasket to this car. This isn't, you know, this is a, a rubberized pan gasket, kind of what you find like in a Mercedes unit, uh, if, if you will, a Volkswagen. All right, and it has these little collars here also that the bolt goes through. So, you know, this guy lives upstate. I think actually he, he might live in this area too, but I know he goes upstate a lot. And um, let me just get one of these out. These little collars that the bolt goes through here. And from, you know, the, the winters here and the stuff they put on the road and, and whatever the case may be. Um, there's 12 pan bolts and eight of them broke when I was taking the pan down. You know, they got frozen in, in here, in the, in the little collar. They got frozen in the, in the transmission case. So just the head snapped off. We tried, you know, soaking it. We tried heat. You know, I played with it actually for a couple of days. Um, but these things weren't budging. I, uh, uh, you know, two of them were pretty tight. Uh, uh, ten of them were tight. Two came right out, and I, I managed to get two more out just by, you know, moving it back and forth, back and forth. And one of them, I got one out. The other one, the head of the bolt broke off. But then I just put my vice grip on it, and I actually got it to turn. So I had to drill eight of them out. Uh, so what I would um, probably do here is, if you have one of these, uh, these. AB60 transmissions, E or F, you know, one is two-wheel drive, one is four-wheel drive. Next time the car is up in the air and you live in a part of the country like New York where you have winters and they put salt on the road and stuff where you live near the water, whatever the case may be, 
Um, take these bolts out one at a time. I would put some never seize on them and put the bolts back in. You'll probably be okay. Um, this is an 08 and I don't know the mileage. It has actually, it has 170,000 miles on it, 2008. So the guy obviously does some driving. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, they did them broke. So I got finished drilling that stuff out and so tapped everything. So uh, I'm gonna be going back up with the pan today. All right, here is your filter. I'm gonna be putting a filter in. And here actually is the solenoid, the S4 solenoid. Uh, actually has a blue connector, but this is a, a considered a three-way solenoid. It's over $300 from Toyota, and this is the new one that's going to be going back in. Uh, all right, so I think that's about it for now. So let me just get uh, here's my uh, voltmeter here, and these uh, solenoids just have uh, uh, one wire going to it. I believe the when I was talking to my tech service, I believe that the uh, computer supplies the power. Uh, for that solenoid. Uh, Alright, so let me get set up. We're going to give a shot of the scan tool and then we are going to remove the solenoid and bring it here to the bench and do an ohms test. The ohm of the solenoid should be about 13 to 15 ohms. Alright, so I will be back in a few minutes uh, with the shot of the scan tool. Alright, so here's our code. Uh, P0983 shift solenoid D control circuit high. All right, and the 2716 I said I had generated, but we're just going to concentrate on this 983 code here. All right, so now we're going to go under the car and identify the solenoid, pull the solenoid out, and head over to the bench and do an ohm test. All right, so here's a shot of this AB60F. All the solenoids here. I think there's nine of them total and two here. The one we're going to be dealing with is this one right here. This is the S4. All right, so this I have loose already, so I'm going to take this down. Well, actually, first, just has a little tab. All right, we're going to push it in and pull it out. All right, again, just the one wire. All right, so let me just take this, finish taking this small bolt out here. And then this solenoid will come right out. Okay, all right. All right, so now what we'll do is head over to the bench and we're going to ohm this uh, solenoid out and compare it to the new OE solenoid that I have. All right, so give me a couple of minutes. Let me get set, set up over there again and uh, be right back. Okay, so we got the solenoid, the S4 solenoid out of the Toyota. And here is the new replacement OE S4 solenoid that's going to be installed. So let's take a reading here. All right, so we got 12.4. That's about what it should be. They're average about 13 ohms. And let's take a look at the solenoid out of the Toyota that is giving us the code. See, that is a, maybe a you know, figure around 3.5. So that is way out of whack. So this is why the computer cuts the power to this S4 solenoid, resulting in no fifth and sixth gear. Let's take this one more time. And I actually have an S2 solenoid because I got the wrong solenoid first. So let's take a reading on that one as well. This is for return here. So let's check that out. Just about the same. Yeah, they, they average again about 13 ohms. So we know that this S4 solenoid here is our problem, and that is the reason for no fifth and sixth gear because when there is an issue, 
electrically wise with a solenoid, the computer will cut the power to that solenoid only. So this one is on in fifth and sixth gear as a result of this problem. It cuts the power and we only have gears one through four. So it's pretty cool how it minimizes the loss of, of the transmission, you know, how it still would allow it to shift. <clears throat> I think that's pretty cool. And if you lose your, again, your output speed sensor, it takes it from the input speed sensor, you know, it'll still allow the car to shift. So I guess you can get where you're going, but it's pretty cool strategy on this uh, AB60F. Uh, so I guess that's about it on this. I'm going to install the solenoid, get this pan back up, um, and get this thing back on the road. So I thank you guys for watching the video on this 08 Toyota Tundra with the P0983. Uh, we found the S solenoid to be no good. And I got to get this thing back on the road. So thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you next one.